finding suitable accommodation as an international student in Czech Republic requires navigating various options, each with its own advantage and drawbacks. In this video, we shall be discussing an overview on students finding accommodation in Czech Republic and going through their options of students' dormitories, private apartments, homestays and the likes. We shall be discussing about the cost, the availability and resources. Overall, student housing in Czech Republic offers diverse options to suit various needs and budgets. Carefully consider your priorities, research thoroughly, plan ahead to secure comfortable and convenient accommodation for your studies. Remember, this is a general overview. Specific details and resources may vary depending on your chosen city and university. It is recommended to consult the official resources of your university and relevant local authorities for the most up-to-date information. Hi, as introduction states, we'll be delving into accommodation for international students here in Czech Republic. Hi, my name is Ijeoma Chinonso. I'm an international student based here in Czech Republic, Prague to be specific. I basically talk about contents in reference to living in Czech Republic, living in Europe in general, and as well migrations and likes of it. So if contents like these are things that interest you, please do well to like this video, share as well as subscribe to help individuals who might be interested in contents like this. Find me and as well subscribe to. So we'll be diving straight into the conversation. So in Czech Republic, Prague, as I always use in my case study, there are different types of apartments, as I clearly stated in the introductory part of the video. Now, I'll be starting with school dormitories. Now, different schools have their dormitories all over Czech Republic. I stay in the dormitory and I stay outside the school's dormitory because for me it is more affordable. As I would say, it is almost the school bedded dormitory compared to where I stay is almost like times two of what, where I stay. So, to cut costs, I just decided to stay outside the school dormitory. And with Czech's amazing transportation system, I am able to navigate well with proper timing and also my good legs for running. <laughs> I'm able to catch up with my lectures irrespective of their timing. But I have seven o'clock lecture or six o'clock lecture. No matter how late it is, Czech's amazing transportation system helps me to navigate and also attend my classes and meet up with my studies early so these accommodation have its accommodation types in Czech Republic have its um, advantage and disadvantage disadvantages and we'll be starting with the students dormitory the benefit of student dormitory is that it is students the student dormitories are they are more affordable and also their proximity to school cannot be overemphasized. Um, and all uh, talking about proximity to school, I have friends who stay in the school dormitory. For them, it is easier when, for example, I've got like I've got two lectures every Monday. I've got one in the morning and one in the afternoon. If I was staying in the students' dormitory in the school dormitory, which is inside the school, it is just at my convenience i come to class in the morning when i'm done with the class in the morning i go just show down to my dorm to my dorm chill then after maybe five minutes to the class i i come i come back and take my last lecture if i was staying in the dorm unfortunately i don't stay in the dorm so i have to still stay in school stay around school wait till my second lecture is done then i go about my business so the proximity is amazing. There could be a test, and if you stay inside the school, 
fast you know you come you come ahead and maybe an impromptu test or something or you're running late for an exam or the likes of it you don't have to bother you don't have to bother about um you don't have to bother about anything <clears throat> traffic and accidents weather or the likes of it so if you're staying in the school dormitory the advantage cannot be overemphasized so i'd encourage that if you are applying to get an accommodation try your best at least for a first year or a first year student try your best if you can afford it to stay in the school dormitory because it gives you that it gives you the upper hand and it also it also helps you to talking about the social the, um, the social aspect it also also gives you the opportunity to as well meet up with your fellow students unlike individuals who stay outside the school environment who maybe lock my lock you might be lucky enough you might meet some of your classmates or classmates around wherever you're staying but with the student when you stay close close to the school you have more advantage so basically that's justice um yeah i think these are the major these are the, these are the major things here yeah. so maybe then after you're done with your first year or so then you could you can, you can decide to move out so whatever suits you it's, it's all dependent on what you can afford so that's been that also there are limitations to students um students dumb just like it has its advantage it has its limitation and the limitation is that shared rooms you, you have to you have to share room with someone depending on the dorm you're staying anyways there are dormitories that have just um you can just it can just, if you want to take over the whole room you can take over the whole room and also there are dormitories where you you share space three three people in a room or one person uh, or two people in a room five if you're coming to check the public, try as much as you can to make sure that you have everything all sorted out with your dormitory or your apartment manager so you don't have issues with that. So, um, usually, to um, get an apartment or to get a dormitory, um, universities actually help out with that a lot. For my school, um, I reached out to my university and they were able to help me source for um, accom accom an accommodation. So you're, 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 if you are not yet in Czech Republic, the best bet is the university. Reach out to them, tell them that you need an accommodation and they'll help you reach out to the accommodation management that will in turn reach out to you and, out and once you pay for your accommodation deposit, they should be able to issue you an accommodation contract and which will be given to the school and they will, it will be sent to your accommodation contract and your confirmation of study will be sent to you via DHL to your country. Um, another option for, for sourcing for um, accommodation is um, using Facebook. Here in Czech Republic, it is, it is face, Facebook, um, Facebook market um is is a very very um it's a very very good way to find an accommodation it's an extremely very it's an extremely good, um, very good way yeah you can you can meet up um individuals who want to give us their their place one on one yes people they just put it there on facebook market so it's it's very 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 functional and also student agencies student agencies but the challenge with that is that you have to, or mo most of them, you have to pay, um, you have to pay a fee, you have to pay a fee for that. Also, we have base, base reality, we have Flatio, and also international housing websites that are like uh, maybe booking.com and expats. Yeah, I think you should be able to find something there. And also, for me, I would encourage for you to actually set a realistic budget. Set a realistic budget. You're coming to a country. If you're if you're coming from a third world country, you 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 realize you need as much money as you can save. So I'd encourage you to set a realistic budget. It's it will go a long way. It will go a long way to it will go a long way to help you. 
also cost of cost of living you should consider the cost of living so because irrespective of the fact that you should be coming if you're moving to check public please bring your food so at least you know that for a period of a little period of time you don't have to worry about buying food so now you're, you're just to take care of take care of your accommodation you're there you already have your food that you can be fully managing for a period of time until you're a little bit settled until you get a job so yeah basically that's it and <clears throat> the excellent transportation system in Czech Republic affords you the opportunity of um being punctual to wherever you're wherever you wherever you're going to irrespective of wherever you stay so if, no matter where you stay provided you stay around you stay inside Czech Republic yeah the transportation system I guarantee you it will give you it, it will it will really really help you mm, also in, in terms of the legal aspect I would encourage please whatever con whatever whatever conversation you have with your um your apartment manager your dormitory manager make sure they are not uh, on paper make sure they are not just words of mouth do you understand make sure everything every every agreement is signed and sealed it is on black and white paper it will go a long way i i i i experience not my personal experience but i was there live when <laughs> a landlord was trying to you know take advantage of a tenant who who they made agreements with and because it's due to the fact that the tenant um doesn't have an doesn't didn't do what they're supposed to do uh, he didn't have he didn't have um too much um case to prove because there was no documentation so that was how his deposit went went away deposit that he could use if it's a student dormitory to pay like for a, for a three months period or more so that was how we just went so um so you have option of student dormitory you have option of private apartments you have option of homes you have option of hostel so whatever you're going with i would encourage you to i would encourage you to um decide well and um, make sure you do the right thing thank you very very much for watching this video so uh, this is me doing a tour of accommodation in Czech Republic Prague I'm getting tired of losing faith and everything I see the beauty in the stars and
um, I think a volleyball court as well. So this is when you make your other Alza box. You you have it delivered there. So this is like um, a water filter. You fetch your water from. You filter out water from. So. Kalistrav is actually one of the cheapest. Kalistrav is actually one of the cheapest. One of the cheapest dorms around. Good morning. Good morning. Good Yeah. You can use the so this is like the structure of the dorms um, passage. Kitchen. They use share kitchen, share kitchen. And this is their bath. Their bath. Kitchens, the kitchens and bathrooms as usually at the end of the passage. Hold on, sir. How are you doing, sir? Yeah. They have different facilities. The elevator. Let's go up. Hello. So the elevator is quite official. It's a five from um, a five-story building. So the elevator is needed. Actually. The reading, the reading room. This is the reading room. I think downstairs they have a ping pong room where you can play games and host things there. Yeah. Because their fire extinguisher here. And um, let's see what the rooms look like. Okay, so when you enter straight up, you see this is for your dish area. I think dishes should be here. Got the fridge here. Just a very, very simple room. So contained. Not entirely self contained but anyway because the toilet and the bathrooms actually and the kitchens are actually outside so it's just dead space and you've got 
It's a bit space. It's okay, boys. Very simple. for a while. Probably a hundred years ago. Yeah. This happens to be the wardrobe. Yeah. So this is for struggle for my feet. One eternity later. So this is the view. This is entrance to the not the building the room. So you entrance you have the the kitchen system here, you have you have the food here. You have the you have the storage here. Put in your clothes. Oh, food stuff. Materials, things, and over here you have the you have the toilets and the bathroom, and you know where you do your things. So you have the toilets there. I have the bathroom here. Put on the lights. And once you come into the room, you have a bed space here, and you also have a bed space here. So this is the two man room. Get your things there. This, you have a reading table here. A reading table here. And you have your heater here. Tell so it's a pretty comfortable space. How comfortable is this space? Okay. Um, yeah. So this, this is for. Um, this is a dormitory for Czech University of Life Science. And we um, go. different sections here so you have the college EMG there and um, and this is college D what's what's the, the other one there the other one there I'm currently at um, River Trinic, one of the dorms at Prague, where most international students stay. So um, I'll be knocking the door of one of the occupants so you guys see what the room looks like. So come along with me. Okay, so this is me entering the room. Uh, this is 
single space, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a single space and you have um things your dishes are kept. The fridge the room comes with the fridge? Yeah, sure. Oh, 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 oh. So you have a nicely arranged bed. <laughs> Then, um, so she has a where she keeps her stuff, you know. This room is tempting. Do you need a roommate? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, so uh, this is her, her wardrobe where her stuff are. Uh, the room is actually nice, really, really nice, and that's her. Uh, that's her room up there. So, <sighs> quite cozy. Everything all spaced out and cool. So it's a one one man bedroom. Yeah, so it's it's a cool place. Um, it's quite impressive. A little bit that straggle from it. It's not too impressive. Let me not make a head. <laughs> <laughs> so let's check out this uh, table. Yeah, yeah. Because the So thank you for letting me see your room. I really, really appreciate it. Alright, so I'll be taking my leave now. Ciao! <laughs> so this is the... What does the external look like? The room space, it's, it's a bit spacey. It's a bit spacey.